Okay, so today we're gonna be creating a 3D skybox for our map. The first thing is you're gonna duplicate any one entity and make it skybox reference. Make sure to reset the origin. Okay, so here's the center of the map. And so the next thing is to add a few buildings, a few stuff, prop statics mostly. Let's add this. Yes, let's add a building in the background. So because we're going to be creating a skybox, you're going to need a reference. So let's assume that this cube right here is the edge of the map. Of course, it should be something much bigger, depending on the size of your map. But I'm going to select all of these objects. And I also want to select the skybox reference. I'm going to copy. And then let's create a new map. And Control shift v to paste, so hit OK. So if you paste it correctly, you will see that this origin skybox reference is 000 origin and save this map next to the test one so this one will be test 3d skybox okay so the next thing is to scale all of these things with everything selected except the skybox reference i'm gonna go to pivot manipulation center origin and then to world origin so you see that this brings the pivot right to where the skybox reference is present press e to bring the scale tool these numbers have to be entered on your numpad. If you don't have a numpad, then you can go into start. So type keyboard on screen keyboard. Go to options, numeric keypad. So now, to use the scale, you drag from the center, let go and press 0 0.0625, enter. So this is effectively dividing the entire skybox objects by 16 times. So let's change the skybox reference to a sky camera. And here you have the scale, you see, 16. The next thing is that we need to add a light environment entity and an MB sky. And we also need an MB combined light pro volume and cover the entire area with the balance of the light pro, otherwise it will not be lighted up properly. The reason I added that one on the 3D skybox is so I can use it as a reference. So let's say in the future, I can recreate buildings on the skybox. Go to map, map properties, and make sure to change the map type from standard to 3D skybox. And just compile the map. So here's the skybox. So back into the main map, you know, the skybox reference, you will want to reference the 3D skybox to so search the name of the skybox map. And if everything went well, the 3D skybox should perfectly be lined up with the building. So now I can delete those. See how the 3D skybox is projecting those walls and it's been lined up perfectly with this mesh. But I cannot select it, of course, none of these objects because they're part of the skybox. I think it's good practice to actually copy the edges, the boundaries of your map so you can build buildings and within the 3d skybox itself next thing is simply to compile the map so here's the map with the 3d skybox and of course you can tell this is 3d skybox because if i try to walk on this i just fall so there you go thank you for watching see you next time